Hey guys, Jacob from Last Stop Waterfowl coming to you today with a quick tip to give your spread a little bit more motion. Uh, for those of us who are looking to get a little bit more motion out of your spread, I have a quick do-it-yourself tactic to help you that you can go and do for a very reasonable rate, a $20 motion decoy. That's right, $20 on a motion decoy that you can do yourself. So basically what I did, guys, I took an old decoy that I had laying around the house that was chipped up, threw some paint on it, and I went on Amazon, and they have a toy on Amazon called a Weasel Ball. It's actually a pet toy. It's also sold as a children's novelty toy, and what it is, it's a vibrating ball with a little tail of like a, uh, looks similar to like a raccoon tail or something like that, and it, it basically rolls around on the floor, and your dog or cat chases it, and it, it gives them some entertainment. Uh, so what I did is if you go on Amazon.com, you could get them in a three-pack. This three-pack of them costs 16 bucks. And what it is, this is with the tail detached. But when I receive it, it's actually about the size of a grapefruit. Uh, it's pretty good size, so you have to cut a pretty good little flap on the decoy. But what it does, it has a power button on top of it, and you can actually go and uh, turn this on. So I took a decoy, and I cut a flap on the back of it, like you see here. And then what I did is I went to Lowe's, bought a $4 can of spray foam insulation, and I sprayed the interior side of the duck. Hopefully you can see it here. And what that's going to do is keep it quiet whenever I insert this weasel ball into it. But I take the weasel ball, pop it into the decoy itself, like you see here, it's inside now, it has a little cavity that I created with the foam, close the flap back on the decoy. And bam, you have yourself a motion decoy for $20 or just under $20. And I'm not actually shaking this on camera. This is the ball creating the movement on this decoy. So we cr went and water tested this out in the lake. And I put three of them out on the lake just to see what they look like. And I have local mallards that live here in my lake at home. And I had a couple of greenhead Drake mallard decoys come over and just check it out. And we caught it on film, and we're going to post it on our YouTube channel at uh, Last Stop Waterfowl, Louisiana. So if you're not a subscriber to our YouTube channel, hop on over to YouTube, look us up, Last Stop Waterfowl TV, Louisiana, and we'll have some cool tactic videos. But I'll have this video posted of the mallard actually coming over and taking a look at these motion decoys that we did and hopefully, guys, this will add some uh, some more motion on a calm day. It's nothing that's extravagant. It's nothing that's overpowering. It's real subtle, but it creates some motion. That decoy just kind of moves back and forth, and it adds a little something to your spread to go along with your mojos uh, and the pulsators that we use from Hibden and our spreads typically. It just gives you an alternative and creates a subtle motion and adds something to your spread. So. Weasel Ball Toy on Amazon.com, a three-pack for $16, a $4 can of spray foam from your local hardware store, an old decoy, and what we did is attach a Texas rig to hold it in place, and you guys have a $20 motion decoy that you can't buy anywhere in the store for that price. So hopefully this will help you out, guys. Go get it, put it together, add this to your decoy spread, and hopefully this brings you more luck. Until next time, this is Jacob with Last Stop Waterfowl signing off. Have a good one, guys.